there was just one case. I think yeah. it was where if it hit the bottom twice. Um Oh, so we need to really, make sure yeah. Really so, quick, but then I didn't see that problem today. Go ahead and make a commit out of what it currently looks like. And uh because it looks right to me right now as though it works. And make sure to fix up the white space problems. Yeah. Um. Wait, before I actually before I do this. Oh, um, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, What'd you do? I went to exit, but then E was edit. Q is quit. So now I'm edit mode and I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you're in, you're in VI, which, uh, to exit, you hit escape, then colon, then Q, then enter. And then now you can do, I think question mark will give you a list. I think A is abort. No, never mind. That is... Not what A is. Oh, D. Do not stage this or any later hunks in the file. You want, I, you probably want Q. I was thinking, I was hoping that there was a way to say, don't do anything from this session that I may have already staged. But I guess not. Yeah. Cause I'm just gonna get instead of commenting these out, I'm just gonna delete these because there's no point in them. Makes sense. Commented out print statements. Um. If a wall was is hit within fifteen, is next hit is next hit and an an adjacent wall was it within fifteen of the same direction? Huh. I don't know what that comment means. Uh Yeah, so there yeah, that was our that was the problem that we had, like but I guess it's somehow solved because I didn't see that problem today where like it hit super close on the bottom, like it hit the bottom like twice really quickly. And then I think it thought that that was the same. Yeah, actually, now that I'm looking at this, I don't really see anything in here that prevents it from counting bouncing on the floor twice really close as a corner. This would detect hitting a corner even if it just bounced on the floor twice really fast. But we, I didn't see that problem today. Like last week I definitely did, but this week I didn't. Um, maybe it has to do with when we call hit corner. Let's go look. So only call it when a wall is hit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything here that prevents it from counting the floor twice. We could 
make a note of that. Um, yeah. So, go ahead and add a to do. that says make sure that or test whether hitting the floor twice in a row doesn't count as hitting the corner. Uh. Or make sure that it only counts as hitting the corner if we hit two adjacent walls and not the same wall or two opposite walls make sure you have uh, make it so that you have to hit two adjacent walls and it looks like i actually already have that no the, the, the strange thing is it's just not i just don't see the problem right now yeah just um, just add a, a to-do about making sure to test it, and don't actually test it right now, and don't actually write code for that right now. Just make sure that you have made note that you should test that specifically, and um, finish off the commit. Got it. It's right, right there. Oh, so it, there it goes. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. yeah, okay. So it is doing it. Okay. So it is doing it. I'll try that. I'll see if I can get mine to do that as well. Probably. I just have to let it go. Let it go. Da 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 da. Yeah, it said a corner was hit just now. Is it saying that over and over again? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we do have that problem. Why is this hunk so fat? <laughs> you can split it into smaller hunks with S. F, they changed F. It is now show or hide video thumbnails, which is not the same as full screen. What about, it's kind of full screen. <laughs> Excuse me. So maybe I should not have the window be this wide. Maybe I should continue having it be taller because it looks like it gets cropped quite a bit on by the time it gets to your screen. So even if the YouTube video is better this way, 
Oh, that actually... Wait, what'd you do? Oh. I see. It depends on what what ratio your window has as well. Oh, uh, well, that's... That's out of my control. Uh, I don't know what to do about that. Yeah, because... I don't know. This, this is already pushed this side. This is pushed yeah. this side. This is what... All right. I think it actually probably will work better if I make it taller. At least for you. And I think it's not uh it's not actually a big deal on YouTube. But I don't know how to change it in the middle of the session. Well, yes I do. But I'd have to like log out and log back in of the video session with you. Okay. Does this matter? Like this is not related to um Um at all, but I Oh, that's a bummer. That should have been committed yeah. before. Um Ew. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I don't, I can't think of, like, an easy way of dealing with that. Um, uh, nope, I got nothing. Um, what I would do is go to that line restore it to what it used to look like, make the commit without that change, and then just after, make another commit with that change. Um, maybe you can edit the hunk. If you, if you hit E, does it look like it's easy enough to edit the hunk? Delete the three lines that m subtract oh do you know how you don't know how do you uh use j and k to go up and down to the line that has the minus and then the the yeah that one and then do dd 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 oh shoot uh hit u u u <laughs> And then uh, R space, and then J D D D D, and then hit escape colon W Q. So you've made it so that it leaves that line alone, hopefully. Hey, that's pretty good. I think it worked. Yeah. Uh no. How do I say it? it? Make corner detection? Is that is that fine? Uh detect corner. Detect when ball hits corner, sure. What?
but I I can't be bothered. some sort of celebration going on okay um is there anything left to commit nope okay cool do 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 Do, 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 So we still have the issue where if it rolls, it counts as a bunch of corner hits? Um, I don't know if it's, once it rolls, I don't think it does, but, uh, because it counts as a roll and it's not hitting right. it. So very but like here. soon before right here. it's rolling. Yeah, that's a bunch of corner hits. So let's change up the code to fix that. How do we make it so that this does not detect this does not um, count as a corner when it's almost rolling. When it hits the bottom twice. Or it only counts, I think we should probably phrase it positive. It only counts as a corner if it hits two adjacent walls. Uh-huh. Because I know we use distance, right? Um, is there a way to convert? I think maybe the wait, how would we do it? So, only when it's adjacent, so so what does adjacent mean? How would you define adjacent? Uh, connecting at a point. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yes. Maybe if like you can make a because like it shouldn't. Like one of the values, one of the four x y values in self prior wall hit and self wall hit should not be the same. If that makes sense, because when it hits the, like just for the floor, Doesn't the y value, the y value is five hundred each time, or whatever the the wall size, or whatever the height is. So. So all four values should be different. But then that doesn't make sense because some. What if it's like, where the x and y, the x and x and the y and y should be different, right? Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. If you hit a corner, or if you hit one wall and then the next wall. The X will be different, and the Y will be different. Unless you literally hit the exact corner. <laughs> this, The way we're writing this, we actually exclude real corner hits. <laughs> it, that's... Uh, we'll have to deal with that later. Um, maybe we could just have um, a special case just... that says either it's a direct corner hit, or it's one of these uh, other cases. Okay, I think I got the gist of what you said, but it lagged for me. So oh. you went, you started talking super, super fast, and I was oh, like, "Oh." Interesting. Um, I was saying that the way the way we were defining this, we excluded actually hitting the corner directly. But maybe that's okay. Maybe we can have a special case that says either 
it's this whole thing, or it's a direct corner hit. Uh, mm -hmm. But okay, so we can add in that thing you said where we need to make sure that the x value is different from the previous x value and the y value is different from the previous y value. I'm not exactly sure when we record something as a wall hit. I don't think the ball is actually right at the wall. Oh, oh. Yeah. Um, so we need to do that makes, actually, something that makes about sense. that. Because of the way that we, like, adjust for the speed of, like, the ball going through and whatnot. So it's not, like, the Y is not always 500, actually. It's just, like, somewhere near 500, which is not yeah. as good. Yeah, so it might be, well, 600 for you. Um, but whatever height is, it's, it's not going to be exactly height, even when it's bouncing off of the floor. Huh. Okay, so that th that makes it so that my plan doesn't work. I think we need to. Well, one thing that I can think of to do is when we. Um detect that we're hitting a wall, we can record what wall we think we are hitting. Um, let's see. So here, uh, if we hit the floor, then we bounce floor. If we hit the ceiling, bounce ceiling, and so on. So maybe right here, we can say which wall we think we hit. Um, Let's see for hit floor cue. Actually, let's see what comes just before this. So we have update velocity, update position, and then if a wall was hit, we detect some stuff and we detect whether a corner was hit. If the floor was hit, okay, so if a wall was hit, where's the definition of that? A wall was hit if one of these happened. Okay. Should we store it? Can... Yeah. I feel like that might have its own issues, but we could... Um, like right here, we could say, just store uh, hit wall equals floor, something like that. And then okay. we could do that, or not hit wall, self dot hit wall. Um, and then we could do that for all of these. Um, this seems like it might cause an issue when we actually hit a corner. This is surprisingly annoying. To figure out whether or not we've hit the corner with some leeway. Um, but let's see what this looks like.
Is that basically what you did? Yes. Okay. Um, but then we need to know not just what wall did we just hit, but what was the previous wall. So in all of these places, we need to do self dot prior wall. Uh oh. Hit equals self dot hit wall. It looks like that variable is already in use. What did we do? Oops. Ah. Okay, we set it to wall hit. And wall hit was the location that we hit. Okay. So... All right, so we already have wall hit and prior wall hit. Uh, so maybe we can use those. Shoot, no, we can't because If we have just the location, we can't be sure which wall we hit. Which wall we detected that as a hit of. Because of the imprecision. I think. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I agree. Wait. Yeah, because it's too big of a range. Because, like, when it goes super fast, it could be going, like, 50 off the screen, and then it would be just going 50 the other way. So, like, that 50, like, distance is just... It could be that we detect a wall hit, like, right here and the ball is going this way, in which case we should count that as a left wall hit. And it could be that the ball is right here and it's going up and down, in which case we should count that as a bottom uh, floor hit. And after the ball Yeah, we don't have a good way of, if we just have the location, we can't say whether it was hitting this side, the left side, or the floor. So it's bouncing too close next to each other. How do we not? Hmm. I think it might help to... maybe draw out some scenarios on paper and then think about what to do about those scenarios. Uh-huh. So yeah, well we got the first one, it's bouncing on the floor next to each other.
So I drew four main ones where if the ball hits left the adjacent walls uh, within a reasonable distance as a corner, if it directly hits the corner, it's a corner. Uh, and then we want to make sure that if it hits adjacent walls where the distance is too large, that's not a corner. And then another one is the one that we're talking about where if it hits the bottom twice in a very short amount, that that's not considered a corner as well. And that could be applied for the left wall, right wall, and top wall. Um, okay. And how can we write code to detect the the different scenarios? Um wait, do you think we could do it time based on like because we have like No left right because two. the ball could be just going really 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 fast okay we keep oh, we keep yeah. uh recycling that idea i i might be recycling that idea that's <laughs> i've definitely done that same thing i've definitely thought oh what if we do time based and then oh wait no no we can't do that <laughs> Okay, so what were the scenarios that you drew? Um, a corner, like a like the red corner is it? Like actually, just a corner. Um, adjacent walls, like it hits adjacent walls, uh, within a reasonable distance, like with a small distance, that's a corner. And then adjacent walls with large distance, and that's not a corner. And then lastly, a problem where it's bouncing twice. Um, close together. On the same, like on the same. Okay, so I like this uh, direct corner idea. I think that would be pretty easy to write the code for. And we could yeah. say, then we could say either a direct corner or this. Um, and how do we detect adjacent walls? Um, we started, uh, but then it turned out the variables we were going to use, we had already started using for what position was the ball at when we detected a wall hit. Um, but the position that the ball was at isn't enough to remember which wall was hit. Uh -huh. um, so wall... is it, we have two things to keep in track. Is it adjacent and is it just in small? Wall. Um, yeah, I like that. Okay. So two things to track. Is it adjacent and is it a small distance? Uh, is, I think you said the distance small. Because um, that's how we detected that. Was hit and then uh, position. 
So maybe if that's two different things to track, then maybe we can have different variables for tracking them. In order to detect is it adjacent, we'll need to know which wall it was. And to track is the distance small, we'll need to know what the position was. So let's go make, actually, that is time. And I got to go. Uh, I will, though, go put into the notes. The I just made a, a file corner detect uh, to do look at the file what did I call it corner hit dot org okay all right we'll pick up next time at that point. I think that sounds good. Um, so we'll have to have at least four variables. Uh, which wall was hit this time? Which wall was hit last time? Where were we this time? Where were we last time? And maybe that'll be enough. Maybe then we can just do operations on those four variables. All right. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right. Thank you. Bye.